that's wisdom. You've learned from your experiences and every single thing we do in life, please listen up with this, is not for no reason. You know, it's for some sort of reason that you will only ever receive in hindsight. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Alicia. It is so great to have you here. If you have stumbled here by accident, if it's your first time or if you have been, you know, in my community for a while, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of an energy update using my connection with spirit. I really want you guys to be discerning with what messages you take in and whether or not they're empowering to you. I always aim to, you know, tap into energy source for the highest good of everyone, but ultimately everyone will navigate through their path differently. And so when it comes to watching psychic work or whatever, I'm a very big fan and this is what I do myself because it's very easy for us to take in everything and think of it as, you know, gospel. And I truly believe we're all on our unique soul's path and I really want you guys to discover what it is to say yes to something and specifically no to something. And when I started doing that with psychics, even myself, um, is I used to just believe everything they said. And I this is before I I ever kind of realized that I also was going to become a psychic. And then when I started to actually go, you know what, that doesn't resonate. You know what, I'm going to, you know, shift gears a little bit here. I'm going to make a different decision. And turns out it was the right decision for me. When it comes to you guys watching me or anybody else, please make sure you are putting yourself first, not my words. You know, I'm not responsible for the choices you make in life. You are, which is power. That is called power when we take responsibility for our choices in life and not blaming, right? So something that if you watch in my previous video, you know, simplifying your spiritual journey, a lot of it I dove into bypassing and what it kind of means to just give your power over even to the universe. So like you just take over and then you don't really end up doing anything. So I'm all about inspired action. It's focusing your intention with your attention towards soul and spiritual growth. So what that means is taking in information that feels empowering to you and then going and doing something about it. Instead of thinking you have to take on absolutely every piece of advice and action every single piece of advice. So this is the message for you today. Even if you get nothing else out of this video, please use the art of discernment. Decide who and what is healthy for you. Express your uniqueness in your own path. It's going to be different to everyone else, even the way you experience success, relationships, love, all the things, business. It's going to manifest differently because you're here on this path. And to be honest, I think we're all quite winging it anyways. So guys, today for this energy update, I'm going to be using the animal spirit deck here. Now, I don't know a lot about animals. Every time spirit asks me to pick this deck up, I'm like, oh my God, you better help me here. Um, but look, trust what I say if you feel that it resonates, all right? And if not, chuck it out. Okay, let's see. Let's see, spirit. What do you want these guys to know for the next week? Or if you are kind of returning to this in a two months time, a year's time watching this, this reading's timeless. So I say energy update. And that's just what it is. You know, time and space doesn't exist when I connect to spirit. So let's see. Oh, okay. That one flipped over here. So let me just see what's in the deck here. Some of you guys are, the deck, I know this sounds weird and I don't know whether people share this, whether they're readers or whatever. The deck means something to me. It's not about sometimes the cards that come out that give me the message. It's the way that the cards are shuffling and the way that they come out and whether it feels thick or dense. There is something you guys are wanting to shove back in because it used to fit and it no longer fits. So it's like you are trying to, what is that saying of um, trying to a round peg and a you know, a square peg in a round hole or something like that. Like you're trying to fit something in that, yes, used to work, but it now doesn't. This could be a job, for example. It's going to look different for everyone. As I said, we're all unique in how the energy manifests itself. But the collective energy right now, what you guys are drawn to hearing right now, what you need to hear right now is that maybe a job used to align for you that you're trying to fit and force and you can see the signs around you. You're like, oh my God, like I just saw triple seven. My angels are guiding me. I know I have to be following more of my spiritual gifts, but I keep trying to shove myself back into a job and I keep trying to shrink myself and make myself smaller to fit into something. And it feels like it's for approval. And it feels like as well, let me just feel into what this, um, what is coming up here. I want to get the words right here. I almost, I almost feel like I, it's like, I want to swallow my words here. This, what, what, ugh. when this happens, spirit struggle with my speaking and I feel very confused about what I'm saying. So maybe you guys are really confused about what I mean, because I'm confused by what I mean right now. 
They're wanting you to understand why you keep trying to fit yourself back into something that you know doesn't fit and that I feel like you're getting the signs to move forward with. So again, if it's a job, I'm just getting maybe a lot of you for career that you once were resonant in a job, right? It once worked out, it once went great. You maybe were making a lot of money, but you're like, hold on a second. Is this where I'm wanting to head? Is this where my future is? Because the energy of this feels very dense and it's kind of like the energy of where you guys have been and what you're trying to force has been dense. And it's kind of like, hey, sick of my own bullshit here. I've got to trust that we are going to open up and discover a whole new path, but that is the unknown path, all right? See what's driving that need to fit and it does feel like a need for belonging like to literally fit in for approval for validation it's going to look different for everyone the reasons are going to be unique to you but there was something that came out the eagle I find the eagle quite powerful when I kind of feel into this card. It feels in this card though, that the eagle doesn't quite and can't quite catch whatever this is. So it feels like maybe you're trying to fit yourself back into something because you know you can grab the light. You know you're good at it maybe. You know that you're like, mm-hmm, I'm killing it at this job or I know how to do that. I'm gonna give you an example for some context. Last year, I decided to just go back in person. I was like, you know what? I've been on the online space before even COVID, right? Before it became like fancy to do so. And then I was like, you know what? I really need to like more human connection, less kind of video, less Zoom readings and Zoom healings, more in person, just to remind myself, I still got it. Like, you know, it wasn't me trying to fit anything. I was really open. This was my new path that was blossoming before me. Anyways, months into that, I ended up having a very highly successful financial month, right? Like very good. And I don't disclose a lot of numbers here and things like that. I find that quite personal, but I'm just telling you, like I've been in this business for a while and I had my best like couple of months being in person, but you know what happened? I know I can get that, right? I know I can do that. If I spread my wings and I can fly and I can perch in, in the in-person space, I can, yep, I can take what I need there. However, it didn't bring me any sort of fulfillment. I felt like a slave to my job for the first time. I felt like I was doing readings and I was like, oh my God, I have like five today. Like, you know, but it was making me the dosh. It was making me the money. It was, you know, it still felt really beautiful to heal and to help people awaken to their own gift, you know, to their own light. However, it wasn't quite fitting after a period of time. And I just knew that I didn't want to sacrifice any more of my internal feelings for a job like it felt my business started to become like a job and like oh my god that was red flags for me so what's starting to feel like a job that never used to and how can you start to make some changes around that that is a very core message so what i've done though is i'm again in the kind of unknown space even though what's really funny about something is i'm actually coming full circle um if you look back at my channel i've been doing youtube videos for a little bit of time right not consistent but if you see i've got like 370 videos that's a lot of videos, <laughs> but I've only been consistent more recently in more recent years as opposed to years before that. So I feel like I'm in the unknown space, yet I've come back to basics. I've come back to what I first started with, and yet I don't know the path ahead. You know, I'm approaching it from a whole different level of perspective. I'm approaching it from a whole different level of expertise. I'm approaching it from a whole level of new experiences that I've had that I can help you with. And to be honest, a new me. And I don't really necessarily mean like a new me as in I become something new. I've unraveled and delayed a lot more so that I'm coming into this in a more, you know, in tune with who I want to become and who I want to become and what I desire very much mostly is freedom and flexibility, which requires online presence, less in person. So I've been like doing no in person stuff and more online stuff and building that back up again, like I really did before. So you guys are trying to fit yourself back into something, you know, that might work for the short term, like trying to fit yourself back into something. You're like, okay, after a while, like I could slide, you know, I could slide in there. But after a while, you're going to feel like, you know what, what is all this for? I know the signs are there for me to move forward and continue on my path of self-exploration, however that looks. This could be a relationship. Maybe a relationship used to fit and you're getting all the signs of like, hey, like we need to shift some things up. Or maybe it's not as if you need to break up. I'm not like one of those readers that you're breaking up with your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever today, you know, but 
it is very important to know that the energetics of something may need to shift um, because you really are nesting or you're really flying over something very new, like a new sun. And I need you guys to know that you won't get burned by the new sun. You're going to be excited, lit up and feel warm around the new sun that is kind of um, going to nurture your next movement forward. So let's see if there's a little bit of tarot that can explain a little bit of this. I feel here we go. Yes, of course. The star came up in another reading just recently, actually in the love reading. So this could be doing with love. If you resonate with that, go check out the love reading that I did. And then the king of cups, I mean the king of love, right? Emotional intelligence here. This is interesting. This could very much be to do with Again, as I mentioned, emotional fulfillment and having the courage. You guys have been stripped back. You know, you've been stripped bare. Maybe that realization that you can't exactly fit yourself back into something, even though you know you can, even though you know that the results you can get are more like safe. This is not, how do I say this? This is like a card of safety and not safety. To me, if you look at this woman here on the card, she's literally naked. Naked truth is what I kind of get from this, this energy. And there is a lot of abundance around her, a lot of very fresh, hopey, dreamy, kind of fulfilling energy. It's very water. There's a lot of water energy in both of these cards here with the cups as well. But it does feel as well that there's a level of safety in the sense that you're supported by the stars, but unsafety in the sense of like, I've come from a place where I knew that I could get what I needed from that. For example, me going back to in-person could guarantee me the same income because I just know how to do it, but I don't want it. <laughs> so not that I don't want the money. We love the money. Mm -hmm. Like we got to own that shit. However, it wasn't bringing me emotional fulfillment and maybe it's not bringing you emotional fulfillment and you know that. This could also be, I always see this um, energy, the king of cups, that masculine energy. You could be dealing with somebody who here is very emotionally in tune, lean on them. And I'm also getting the message to trust in giving yourself to this person. And I must be honest here as well. The masculine feels here like a very strong container for you to emotionally express yourself. Maybe the work you were in wasn't emotionally safe to actually express your gifts, your true self, your vulnerable, naked, raw self. Maybe it just didn't align with your dreams emotionally. Maybe the relationship you've been in, you know, has been feeling less and less like this person who used to be able to hold space for your truth, for your hopes, for your dreams. And you're kind of like, I need to move on then and find someone or find something that gives me that sense of fulfillment. Now, that happens within, of course, but I'm not an idiot here. Like we are on a human journey which means connection with people okay so anyone who says you know the answers are all within yes I understand that and I do agree with it I don't feel like that's wrong at all I find this very empowering because no matter what change happens around you you can always come back to yourself and that is the greatest gift that no one will ever be able to take away from you ever period However, we are also here to connect with others, okay? And some of our greatest experiences can come from that connection with other people. And it kind of feels like maybe you've uh, taken a step back from vulnerably sharing with masculine energy, or maybe you haven't felt as supported by your own masculine energy, but here is the hope that you are restoring faith in your ability to hold yourself whilst you fly to your next sun that doesn't make sense but to your next landing pad of warmth of creation of heat of fire of purpose of passion okay so that is kind of what's coming up at the moment let's kind of get one more not one more but let's just see what else we have here in the spirit guide deck by the way, guys, if you want any personalized readings, I'm not sure how long I will be offering these for this year because I'm trying to step away from that and create more online courses and resources for you guys. However, if you click on the link in the description below, you'll see all my resources there, including Etsy readings, as well as 2024 readings or uh, online readings. So you can purchase that below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. That would be absolutely fabulous. Okay, we've got a few that have come out, but I'm not going to use them. So spirit, show us what we need to know. Yep, thank you. Straight away, the owl. So we are taking flight, guys. This, to me, though, I'm going to tell you what's happening. I put the eagle back in the deck. This is interesting that this is come I told you the deck and my hands and spirit, they work together. Eagle's gone back in the deck. 
you guys need to be mindful of how quickly you go back into certain situations. <laughs> like, I'm like, I want that eagle out now. Like spirit are almost, um, are you looking at my puppy behind me? She's just, she goes crazy with that egg chair. She's very cute though. If you have a look down here, Hallie, say hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Okay. Very entertaining. So guys, you need to be very careful and mindful about how quickly you go back into old situations without reflecting on the wisdom and the learnings that are basically there for you. The owl, it feels like the eagle was really taking flight, really like, you know what? I'm ready to create something now. I'm ready to go out. Like the eagle scares me a little bit. Like if you, I'm pretty sure, is it like eagles who can like grab literal like puppies and like that's, oh, I don't know. <laughs> that's pretty dark. <laughs> eagles that can grab puppies, that's not great. We need to be mindful of that, but also that you are evolving to into the owl. This is like the deepest of wisdom. Like when I see the owl, I'm like, oh my God, like I am so in tune with my own spiritual power, my own soul power, my own wisdom. I'm learning, I'm sharing, I'm teaching. Like the owl is just like the, the crone, right? You've got the maiden, the mother, and the crone in the feminine kind of archetype and journey. And this owl feels like very crone-like. And it's also very still. I'm not saying that owls don't fly, but I must admit, I don't see them fly very often. It feels like you're going from the eagle and kind of like needing to take flight and you think that that's how it's gonna be. Oh, this is the message here, guys. <laughs> Listen up. You think you're always gonna have to fly to find something else, but please know that's not gonna be your whole journey. You can rest in the knowing that wisdom and stillness and kind of that integration and embodiment is here for you, if you choose it. Oh my God, okay. The way that they're showing me this here, okay, is I'm gonna use myself as an ex example because I know that a lot of people tend to learn from what I share personally. You can relate, I get a little bit vulnerable and also you can apply it to your own certain situation because I don't know your situation, but I know mine. This energy, remember how I just said that it's kind of easier for me to go back into the in-person stuff because I know what I'm gonna create. But yet I've actually been online longer and in this sphere longer than I ever was in person. I actually have a lot of wisdom around that. I have a lot of lessons and learnings that I'm now getting to integrate and embody. Maybe at first when I was in the online space, I was a bit like, ah, rah, rah. like, I'm not sure. Like here, I'm just like throwing shit to a wall and seeing what sticks. And like, yes, it's part of the journey always. You, If you're growing and evolving and like really consciously trying to do that, you have to adapt to change and have to be flexible, which is what the eagle is wanting you to do right now is adapt and change with what you can't fit into anymore. In my own energy of like, whatever this message is resonating with me too. Yay. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. But I know that stillness is here for me that I've actually learned a lot more than I think. Maybe that's your lesson. Maybe you know a lot more than you think you do. If you want to start a business, for example, and you're trying to make your career fit like it used to, and you're sitting here with this much owl wisdom shit, like, oh my God, get out there and start sharing. You do not need a qualification to do that. If you have been through something, it is like you've healed from it. You've changed from it. You've broken through it. It's changed your life. It saved your life. Please help other people do the same. Not everyone's path, but just saying, you've got this wisdom inside of you and that is to be shared, but it's not in the way that you think. It's not a performance. I'm a performer by nature. <laughs> However, what I mean by that is not getting caught up in the attention trap of spirituality, of online presence, of influencers. So many influencers don't even know what they're bloody influencing. And they've got a lot of influence and power because with great, what is it? With great, oh, what is that quote? With great power comes great responsibility. A lot of people who are just speaking and sharing are not really aware that what they say impacts people. No, it's not their responsibility to look after what people say, just like it's not my responsibility to kind of know how you react to like what I share. That's up to you. However, I can be mindful of that. I can curate my message in a way that hopefully understands and is very empathetic and compassionate to the human experience. So just don't get caught up in that whole losing your soul and selling your soul for attention when, you know, you'll just become a slave to your job again. It's just going to look a bit different. You want authenticity. You want creation. You want purity, that connection to that single source of spirit that flows through each and every one of us. If you tap into that, you will feel very grounded in what you are doing. It just feels overall, if I could like really sum it up in a sense of like what spirit needs you to know is that you're coming full circle with something. Something maybe that you pushed away a really long time ago, like a gift, 
or a situation or even a relationship or a job. Maybe like, maybe you actually really want to go into a career that you're not currently in, that you used to be in, that you're like, you know what? I have so much experience now. I'm going to go in and I'm going to be the CEO. I'm going to, I'm going to be a manager. I'm going to step up in some sort of like leadership role, or I'm just going to be the best damn God employee that I am because I love what I do. And that's amazing. That's wisdom. You've learned from your experiences and every single thing we do in life please listen up with this, is not for no reason. You know, it's for some sort of reason that you will only ever receive in hindsight when it comes to understanding that. All right. Oh, okay. I didn't even see this here and it was already there. Like, okay. That's again, I told you the decks, they communicate with me and the deck, the way it shuffled, not even the card that comes out, the way that that came out was like, it was upright. It was in front of your face already. The wisdom's been staring at you straight in the face, but you're afraid. There's this message here of like, when I see the five of cups here, this is an interesting card. Everyone interprets tarot differently, by the way. So like you can do a course on tarot and do whatever, but please know that like your intuition comes first the way you, you know that I actually, and I don't know if this is relevant, but it is because spirit never make me speak for no reason on these videos. I always get very intentional. Do not bring anything up that does not resonate. I was going to like never bring tarot onto this channel because I know how deeply like in depth it is and how very meticulous and how like no BS to the point, this is what this card means. But to be honest, I'm not a teacher like that. I believe that if you pick a card off the shelf that is meant for you, trust whatever comes up. You can read the, you know, you can read the book or whatever, definitely to get you started. But at the end of the day, whatever feeling you naturally have as a reaction to that, trust, please. So when I see this card paired with the owl, what I am seeing is I am afraid to make mistakes. I'm afraid to put myself and my energy into something that doesn't work. I'm afraid to walk away from something that was like half ass. Like I've got in my gene keys, um, I don't know what number it is, but it's the gene key of um, commitment and it's the gene key of half heartedness. This feels like you're being half hearted about your vision. You're not going all in. Now, I'm not saying to absolutely ditch every single thing because I think we're still humans. We have a nervous system that needs nurturing and care. Sometimes just diving into the deep end if you are not a risk taker can feel very overwhelming. Hire a coach, hire a mentor, hire me. Who knows? Send so me an email. But there is a very strong message here around being afraid of leaving something that's kind of half fulfilling. But it's like spirit want you to know, like the wise owl in you. How can you communicate with the wise owl in you who's just like, like you deserve everything. <laughs> like 100%. It is here with you. You deserve it. You deserve the 10 of cups, the ultimate expression of emotion, the ultimate happiness that you will ever create because the river still flows. And that's what I love about this card. The river is still flowing here. The water is still flowing. Nothing stops here, but it looks like because these cups are kind of tipped over a little bit. It's kind of like, I need to leave. I know I need to leave. The black cloak is very like grief. You may have gone through some sort of grieving situation that has allowed you to become so much more mindful and compassionate or whatever you've learned from that. And you're not going to get that at the thing you're trying to currently fit into your life. No longer is life, are you going to fit into life? Life fits into you. And what I mean by that to clarify, because I needed clarification on what that just meant, <laughs> is everyone's version of reality is different. My worst pet peeve is, is when someone says, just get real. What do you mean get real? We are all living in different realities. We each in our bones, in our bodies, in our DNA, in our cells, that's I think the same thing. I'm not like knowledgeable in that area, but everything about us, we've got a, a world within us. And when someone says get real, I'm like, well, get real according to who? According to you or according to me? Because in my reality, this happens and this happens and this happens, which is very different to what happens in your reality, you know? And so there is maybe someone telling you here, maybe you have to walk away from someone who's kind of telling you like, nah, just do that because like I made decisions in my age, in my day and it never worked out. And so you're listening to maybe old people, old, white, I wouldn't say wise in this case, but I'm getting the, like, are you listening to elderly people or even people who are older than you about all their mistakes and all of their, you know, pitfalls and downfalls and they chose the safer path and you don't want to choose the safer path. You want to go for that ultimate fulfillment. And again, yes, it starts from within, but the journey starts from honoring within 
what is going right and what is going wrong. The only way you can shift something is you, if you call bullshit on it, if you call it out, if you call it forward, if you admit the truth to yourself. And that can be not a harsh process at all. That can be a very loving, nurturing process that gives you a lot of clarity as to where you want to flow next. Try and think of it less as that eagle who feels like it's taking flight and it's quite aggressive in what it wants to grab. Think of it as if you're flowing or you're just like, there's a lot of bird energy in this deck, right? This is the animal deck. It's on a bird deck. Just want to let you guys know the bird it's taking flight, but the owl is about coming into your center, about returning to stillness within knowing maybe you can fly further. If you've got that stillness present within you, that quietness, that ability to kind of come within, know what's emotionally serving you and what you can move forward into. So let's just get one last overall message here from spirit with the angel deck what do we want to wrap up with what's the last final message spiritual guidance for the future they're really they're doing that today but i'm not going to take any of those and we're getting the shark oh my god what one to this is so different to an eagle and a bird and an owl the shark, this to me, you know, you may draw some blood. <laughs> like I see the red and I was immediately drawn to the, the blood, the red in the, I don't even know if that's blood, but like to me, that was blood in this reading. And I'm getting like, you need to be a shark. Like the, you're going to draw some blood. There's going to be some people that like aren't going to love where you're flying to next. You may disappoint people. You may accidentally charge at something and just completely run them over, you know, and I don't mean in real life, but like you, you may blindsight someone, maybe you're like, maybe you've been trying to fit into something for so long that you've convinced yourself that quite literally it's all good. And so the other person thinks it's all good. And then you're like, you've sharked them. Like you've shark attacked them. You've circled them without them knowing it. And you've just gone, boom. <laughs> That's a really interesting message to leave. Like that doesn't give me much like happiness here. But the point is the shark knows that the shark goes for it. I don't know how to say this, but the message I'm getting is like, it doesn't circle shit for no reason. You've been circling around for a reason and it's time to go after that. Same as the eagle. It needs to perch. It needs to land. It needs to grab something else. Circle something else. Go. It's your time. Circle something else. Just know may not be pretty because, you know, you had the five of cups come up too. It's emotionally, ugh. Shark lives in the water. There's the energy of water again. So how can you flow within maybe a different circle, a different whirlpool, a different kind of current? Allow the current to take you in the way that doesn't feel like you're forcing something to fit. Does that make sense? I hope it does. That was my message for you guys. Again, if you want to read it, check out the link below. Like, subscribe, share. It would really help me get more of my messages out into the world. But also because I just like doing it as well. You know, it doesn't have to be some massive humanitarian mission unless you've got a lot of 11th house energies in your planet. Um, the planet's in the 11th house or your Aquarian or whatever. And I, <laughs> this is a weird way to end this. But I just mean to say that there's so many people that get messed up when it comes to needing to be of purpose. And purpose to me is being yourself. What brings you happiness? What lights you up? Because at the end of the day, you're not going to bed with all your like subscribers or your audience or your followers or whatever or even your parents or you know maybe you still do I don't know <laughs> you're going to sleep with you with your head on the pillow and you need to be able to sleep at night okay and when you don't do something you love every day that's going to be very difficult so I aim to give you guys my piece of my world this is a big part of my world I want to share it it lights me up so that I can also go to bed rested knowing I have contributed to something absolutely I've like communicated and connected with spirit for the good of humanity but really also it's because I like doing it I would not be doing this if I didn't enjoy it so that is your last message that's a nice um, that's a nicer message to end on than the shark um so that is it for today guys I hope you have a great rest of your week I'll probably drop some videos who knows what is going to drop I'm very intuitive in my process but stay tuned whatever you're drawn to remember discern what who is healthy and not healthy for you. All right, guys, see you later.